Well, it's a state park that's full of scenic trails and waterfalls, but it also used to be the site of a town. John Lawrenson takes us to Pine County and shows us why you can't find the town of Banning on a map anymore. It's said the Banning State Park is full of extremes from the rush of the Kettle River to the gentle waterfall of Wolf Creek. And it's not just the riverway that catches your eye, it's the rocks too. What is this called, Clarissa? This is a kettle. You might want to keep an eye on the kids when you're flying. Right. Over thousands of years, Mother Nature has molded, chiseled, and shaped much of the sandstone you see here. But human beings have also left their mark. You can see the drill holes from when they blasted them off the walls. Clarissa Payne is Banning's park manager. She says before any of this was a state park, it was actually a rock quarry that was bustling with workers. Many of them were European immigrants who blasted and harvested sandstone. If you look closely, you'll find relics of that operation. Mm -hmm. Train would come right through and pick up the rocks. And put them inside the carts. It's hard to envision a train coming through here 130 years mm -hmm. ago, but that's exactly what it was. Yep. A nearly two mile trail shows the path the train took while hauling tons upon tons of rock. The business is long gone, but deep in the forest, the walls still stand. It's kind of like a lost civilization back here. Yes, there's a spring inside that would power the steam engines. At each location, stone cutters had a specific duty. This former building was called the Rock Crusher and is just like it sounds. Here they would take stones and break them down into small pieces to be used for concrete. While business was booming, a community was forming. Named after the founder of the quarry, William Banning, a town existed on site for 20 years, from 1892 to 1912. At its peak, there were 300 people. There was a bar, there was a motel, um, a boarding house, and just a few homes. Is it surprising to most people to know that there was a full-fledged quarry operation in a town in this park at one point? Yeah, most of them have no idea. I did not know that. Yeah, I learned that today. <laughs> History lesson. That's crazy. No, yeah, definitely something to, uh, you have to put your mind to, for sure. Both the quarry and the town died because of a lack of high-quality stone and more demand for steel but some of the rock slabs can still be found in buildings in the nearby city of Sandstone. <laughs> Hikers today quickly see that what man left behind at Banning, Mother Nature has taken back. I think it's kind of cool to see it mixed in and like nature's reclaiming what we've abandoned. So makes for some cool scenery for sure. At Banning State Park, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Banning State Park is also the site of a natural geological fault that's 10,000 feet thick. When the water is high, the park is also known for kayaking and whitewater rafting. Banning will celebrate its 60th year as a state park next year. Well, in our consumer alert, a company that made illegal flavor nicotine gummies is discontinuing them following a warning letter from the FDA. Now, the FDA sent a letter to VPR Brands warning the company was not authorized to make, sell, or distribute such products. And the agency said that the gummies were particularly concerning because they resemble kid-friendly candy products and they can cause severe nicotine toxicity or even death in young children. The gummies contained one milligram of nicotine, and the FDA says such gummies are a public health crisis just waiting to happen among our nation's youth.